Hi, I'm Mary DeMuth, and right now I'm going to answer some random questions. So here is the first random question. First one is from Terry McGee, and she says, How can a single mom with a clingy 12-year-old help her not to be so clingy and not need mommy so much? Wow. <laughs> um, I guess I am a parenting expert because I've written parenting books. Uh, but I would say try to find times where you can help her assert her independence. And sometimes that's hard. I think as parents, we really want them to want us and to need us. Um, one of the hardest things that I ever had to do was to send my kids to um, French schools where once the gate was closed, no parents were allowed to, to go in to the, to the school. And believe me, it, it killed me to kind of push my children out of the nest and have them um, explore something new on their own and to, to stand on their own two feet. So I would say try to find some ways to really be consistent in letting her try new things. If she's freaked out about going to camp, have her go to camp. Uh, be sure that she has like um, a good friend that goes with her or you send her care packages or something like that. But um, having her slowly leave the nest will be really great. Okay, um, the next one is a writing question. Uh, what's your favorite scripture for writers? And uh, mine is kind of weird, but that's because I'm kind of weird. Um, it's Proverbs 27.2, and it says this, Let another praise you, and not your own mouth, a someone else and not your own lips. When I was first starting to get published, um, I worried a lot about if I would become like a me monster. And uh, I have learned as I've walked this journey that is always better when someone else praises you instead of you boasting all the time about all your accomplish accomplishments. So if you see me doing that, let me know. <laughs> and if you're um, if you are uh, promoting some of my books, thank you so much because you're fulfilling Proverbs twenty seven two. Um, Shan Mulholland also asked this question. Um, What's one piece of advice to a writer? And my piece of advice is to write. Uh, recently someone asked me the question about um, how do you write a novel? And I said, well, the best thing you can do is write a novel. It may not ever get published. Um, your fifth novel might get published, but your first one might not. My first novel was never published. Um, so write that novel and uh, write that book and give yourself goals and, and be very consistent. If you really want to make this a career, you have to do that. And then she also um, asks what my pet peeve grammar rule is, and um, one that's broken all the time. And to me, I think it's just the improper use of a semicolon. The only time you use a semicolon is between two independent clauses. The dog ran, the dog ate the bone. And in between those two independent clauses, where there's noun, verb, noun, verb, um, you can put a semicolon. It, it uh, replaces a period. Uh, EGM Films asks this, what's your favorite documentary film? Uh, and then they say, uh, one of ours perhaps? So um, I haven't seen any EGM films, but thank you for asking. I would say uh, Food Inc. was a really good one for me to watch. Um, inspired me to keep gardening and to make sure that the food that our family is eating is free of pesticides and that it's actual food and not chemicals. Uh, Denise Martin asks, if you could live in any time in history, when would that be, past or future, and why? Um, golly, that's a really good question. <laughs> I would say I'm actually happy being where I am right now, and um, I believe that God puts us on this earth for such a time as this, and I'm happy to be in the present. And that's been one of my lifelong struggles, is learning to be happy in the now and to be happy in the present. So um, I would say now. Shannon Leary Penn said, how did you balance your career with your family responsibilities? Well, when my kids were really young and I was a stay-at-home mom, which I still am, uh, and they were in diapers and they needed me constantly 24-7, I wrote in pockets of time, but I was not published, nor did I seek to be published. So um, that kind of helped me. I see a lot of young moms writing, and that's cool. Whatever God tells you to do, do it. Um, but for me, the time was to concentrate on my family. And since then, now that the kids are in school, I write around their schedule. So um, when they're in school, I write. Um, it's not an easy thing to do, though. Um, the next question is from Lindsay Hart. How do you effectively network and build meaningful relationships using social media? I would say um, that has come a little bit easy for me. I 
by nature am a connector and I just love to connect to people. Uh, I think the danger of it is when you your whole life seems to be your cyber life. And um, I have really tried to concentrate this year on meeting people face to face and praying with people, touching them, being near them. Um, and I do I recently just um, made sure that my Facebook friends were actually people that I've touched and seen and liked and been near and experienced life with. And then my fan page is anybody else. So um, this has kind of kept me more connected to the people that I truly have a relationship with. And then in terms of building it, I just try to respond to everything that people say. And that takes a lot of time. Um, I don't always do it, but um, I, if someone takes an effort to say something kind about me or my writing, then I say thank you. Uh, and then the last question is, Terry Todd, if you had to choose, would you rather be a horse or a cat? <sighs> I think I would rather be a cat because my cat is very fat. And she, not that I want to be fat, but she, all she does is lay around, eat food, lay around some more, go to the bathroom, eat food. And that seems to be very relaxing to me. Whereas a horse, they have to kind of like run around and they've got to eat grass. It doesn't sound appealing to me. Not that cat food does. Um and have to be ridden and you know saddles and bridles and whatever so i would say cat great question and uh, thanks for tuning into this really boring <laughs> session of random question random questions with mary have a great day goodbye